Okay. Hey. Get a get a Bronx line. Hey. What? <laughs> what? XXL freshman class, talk about that. Lit. Um, growing up, I collected all the magazines, so Word. being a part of it now, you know, see myself on the cover is amazing. You Did know you always want to be on that? Yeah, always. Now Forbes is recognizing yeah. you too. Yeah, I'm trying to do everything. That's big also. money right there. Yeah. My first show in New York, I was like 17. How many people was here? Like, probably like, yeah, I mean, he can get in. And so he had to close the door. <laughs> It's like, you know me? Yeah. yeah I know you. Me? Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey, this is a real authentic shit right here. I am that I am. Run that shit back, nigga. Yo, yeah, yeah. Anybody want to be on that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? Man, before we get into when Cardi dropped Magnolia, we gotta go back and remember where Cardi was in his career at the time. Cardi been grinding for a few years at this point, damn near three years. Being with Awful Records at first, then meeting Rocky at South by Southwest, and affiliating himself with the mob, going on tour with Uzi in 2016 on the Left Right Tour, and having some SoundCloud classics like Sauce. Hey, sauce so much like Mellow, y'all. Broke boy. Fetty. I just left Houston. I just left Earth. Lean on my car. Talk. She said, Cardi, why you got to fight it? Ever since you got some money, it's been frightening on me. And what? What? How you talk to what? Fuck my money, y'all. He was building a real solid fan base at this point being in the forefront of the SoundCloud generation. So the first time I ever heard Cardi was on the track Run It with him and Lil Yachty like early 2016. But 2016 Cardi, he wasn't super known yet, but that was all about to change in the year 2017, which is one of the more underrated years in modern rap. I know a lot of people credit 2016 as the golden era, the best year of all time, but low key, 2017 was just as good. Your auntie broke, your grandma broke, your brother broke, nigga, you broke! <laughs> Too bad Kevin Durant kinda ruined shit, but yeah. I'll never forget though, I was working at Top Shop at the time. It's like a more bougie H&M. It was in Midtown Manhattan, and I kid you not, I remember this like it was yesterday. I was on break, and I remember walking into Nintendo World, cause I was like a block away from the store. And when I left Nintendo World, I went on SoundCloud like I always did, and I somehow came across the song, Woke Up Like This. Woke up to niggas talking like me, talk. And I knew right away, instant smash produced by that boy Pierre Bourne, who would eventually become synonymous with Playboy Cardi. They kind of put each other on if we being real. Now I know this video is focused on Magnolia and we'll get into that, but real talk, this is the true breakthrough single for Cardi. She just wanna fuck me for my clouds. Fuck. This was that one song that really put a lot of eyes onto him. People who never even heard of Cardi was bumping this, mainly because of the help of Uzi being on it. Oh, I think they like me. Yeah. Am I white tea? And of course the beat, the song itself, all that plays into account. But yeah, it was originally on SoundCloud for a while before it eventually made its way to streaming services. Plus at this point, Uzi was already a household name and a mainstream artist, especially after the year he just had in 2016. Then Cardi would follow that up with his debut album, yeah, it's really considered a mixtape, but I call it an album. On April 14th, 2017, which at first I wasn't the biggest fan of, only a select few songs, but over the years I've grown to like pretty much all of it and appreciate it for what it is. This is not part this raw. This is not part this raw. Yo, shit too hard. But man, when that Magnolia came on for the first time and you heard that, Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs> oh yeah, it was over. In New York, I'm in I remember this song just being everywhere, everywhere, bro. Every DJ was playing it at a concert. It was all over the radio. Every party you went to, everyone's Snapchat, your grandma's crib. Like, it was outside. 
This song was really outside, and if you go on Spotify, it's actually his most streamed song to date, with the YouTube video having over 184 million views at the time of this recording. It peaked at number 29 on Billboard and was on the charts for 20 weeks in a row making it Playboy Cardi's most commercial and successful song of his career. The fact that the music video is him in New York and the line where he says, in New York I merely rock, hide it in my sock, like bruh, that just made it even more popular in my opinion. It's super recognizable, and I don't know, it just made people want to milli rock and just dance and just go crazy. It made it become a radio hit for real. I mean, shit, I milli rock every time it comes on. In New York, I milli rock, hide it in my sock, running from my heart. But huge shout out to Pierre Bourne, bruh, for creating such a phenomenal beat. Like the flute sound that plays throughout, the drums, it's just super catchy. And definitely a day and time where I wish I could go back and experience it again. Cash Cardi was special, unique, and now that I think of it, this whole era, pff, nostalgic for real. But do you remember when Magnolia dropped? Let me know all your memories with this song in the comments, bruh, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace. In New York, I merely rock. I did it in my sock. Beep. Beep. Cardi, young Cardi.